Was he even better than you thought? Him? No, he's he's a heck of a player. Uh, they got a good football team. You have to give them a lot of credit. They're well coached. Uh, we made too many mistakes tonight, and uh, they capitalized on them. And uh, you got to give them a lot of credit. He's a heck of a player, and all credit to Central Florida. Coach, um, the UCS offensive line. They they had it seemed to dominate a little bit up front. Can you talk about maybe like what was going on? You know what? Maybe you saw what they. Uh, I gotta watch the film. I, I know that's a good question. It really is. I, I have to watch the film, and, and I'll, you know, I'll probably talk more about it on Tuesday. You know, they they did a good job. You know, they uh, uh, you know we didn't tackle very well. They blocked us. We made some plays. You know, I, you know, again, give them a lot of credit. They had a good plan. They got a great staff. We got a great staff. You know, they beat us tonight and uh, fair and square. And and. Uh, you know, we just got to regroup tomorrow and, and try to figure out what we can do better. One thing I know about the guys in that locker room is, like I've said a million times, I really enjoy coaching them, and they never quit. They never quit. So it, it's a lot of fun to coach these kids, and uh, we'll, we'll do better. We'll keep improving. Bill, uh, based off of just you know, what happened right now, the defense overall, kind of how would you assess that specifically? I mean, you just mentioned the tackling, but kind of. Just your initial reaction. Yeah, Audrey, yeah, I just saw that, you know, just with the naked eye. You know, I got I really have to watch the tape and see all, all the snaps, and I would be better equipped to answer that question on Tuesday, which I will. But, you know, right now, just look to me to the naked eye that we made too many mistakes on both sides of the ball. We, you know, we fumbled there at the end, and, you know, we were, we were rolling pretty good then, you know, and we just can't do those things. We didn't, you know, didn't look like we tackled great, and, uh, you know, we, we have to do a better job coaching. We just, anytime you lose, it's a team loss. Everybody's in it together, and we'll, we'll try to improve every single day. Hey, Coach, when you're talking about the, uh, the fans being 12th man, they stuck with you guys the double time. Yeah, the fans, fans. I mean, I can't say enough about these fans. And I, you know, again, uh, I wish, obviously, we would have won tonight for those fans, you know. But all I can tell you is please come to, keep coming to the games because uh, I think we've got a great bunch of kids here that never give up. And uh, they love playing for Penn State. And tonight was a tough night. But, uh, you know, it was a heck of a game. You know, it was a heck of a game, I thought. And, uh, and you know, I just, I just really want those fans to keep coming because they make a big difference to our kids. Uh, Bill, did you, uh, you think you get more pressure on the quarterback? And, and were you a little concerned that you might have to outscore this team? I knew that we, yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, I felt pretty good, you know, the way we were playing coming in. but. Uh, you know, obviously, again, it's a team loss. We, we made mistakes on both sides of the ball. We'll try to watch the film tomorrow and, and look at all those things that you just asked about, you know, the pressure and things like that. I, I'm not equipped to answer that right now, but, uh, you know, it's a team loss. And, uh, you know, both sides of the ball need to improve. Uh, special teams needs to improve. And we'll, we'll keep, you know, don't, don't, you know, nobody's going anywhere. We're just going to go back to the drawing board tomorrow and, and figure out what we can do better and, and, and coach these guys better and get them to play better. And, and, uh, you know, like I told the kids just after the game, we're with you, you're with us through thick and thin. And uh, everybody look in the mirror and see what we can do, do better tomorrow. So how would you assess the way they ran the ball offensively, the way you tackled when they were running? Yeah, I just, yeah, I got you, Mark. I just, I've been answering that one. And I appreciate the question, but, you know, I, I got to watch the tape. Uh, you know, it didn't, you know, obviously both sides of the ball need to play better and, and I'll watch the tape. I'll be better equipped to answer that on Tuesday. Zach Twinak ended up having a really good game. Yeah. Didn't he have the fumble? He fumbled a little bit last year, not so much this year. What, what did you see on that play? Uh, you know, I just saw it from behind and it just looked like they stripped it out. And, you know, he, he feels bad about that. <laughs> I feel bad about that, but he did. He, he ran the ball hard tonight. And, you know, I love that kid. And, uh, you know, we're with him. And uh, he's with us. You know, it's just a tough, tough way to end it for him, but he'll be fine. We got a lot of football left here, and he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Uh, Bill, uh, Sam looked like he was trying to hit that kick with spin. Could you explain what was going on uh, at the, on end? the, last, the last kickoff? Yes. Yeah, we, you know, there was 2:51 to go in the game. We had one timeout left, so it's a decision you make there between whether to onside kick it or to kick it deep. Uh, obviously, they thought we were going to onside kick it. Uh, we felt like. If we kicked it deep and tried to kick it away from number eight, land it, you know, inbounds, obviously, and before the goal line, maybe we could chase it down. And he tried to do it, and it went in the uh, it went in the end zone. So it just didn't work out. We'll keep working on that. But uh, I thought I did think that was a good decision. You know, I think overall, 
you know, in 15 games here, we've managed things pretty well. That's one thing when you practice situations. I, I think there's mistakes that we made. I'm not saying everything's perfect, but I think we've managed situational football pretty well. So Mike Hall uh, came back today. Uh, it looked like he's kind of limited maybe in the first half, but then came back in the second half. Is he, where would you say he's at injury-wise? I mean, is he? Yeah, he's a, he's a tough kid, and, uh, you know, I think he's, uh, He's given us everything he's got, and we, you know, again, Andre, I got to watch the tape and see, evaluate his performance along with everybody else's, including mine, and um, you know, I'll be able to be better equipped to talk about him on Tuesday. Coach, can you uh, talk about the in the back? Can you talk about the um, continuing struggles on third down and what you can do to remedy that? I don't know. We scored, you know. Again, I think it's got to improve. I agree with you. It really does. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not looking for remedies, but I'm just trying to figure it out with everybody else, and we'll get better on it. You know, and you look at the when you look at the point totals. That's really at the, at the end of the day. How many points are you scoring? And you know, that's not bad. You know, 45 last week. I think it was whatever 23 the first week, and and 31 tonight. So, you know, we're scoring points, but we definitely have to do a better job on third down. That starts with me. Coach, is back here. What are your thoughts on uh, Hackenberg's development so far? It's, it's, you know, again, I think he's uh, he's learning with every snap. I think it's a very difficult position when you're 18 years old, but he's, he's definitely up to the challenge and uh, love coaching him. Uh, great kid, uh, just, a, just a fantastic guy to have in our program, and, uh, you know, he'll keep getting better and better every day. He's, he's got that type of demeanor, and just, uh, I think, the world of that kid. Bill, you moved Amos back to corner for a while. Was yeah. Williams hurt, or did you just want to get more of a veteran guy there? You know, I think there were some injuries there. I, you know, uh, I I have to go back. I haven't got the injury report yet, but that's probably what we were doing, and and maybe some of it was a different type of scheme we were using, and things like that. But I'll again, I'll I'll be better able to talk to you on Tuesday about that. Coach, uh, the opposing quarterback board was making some pretty impressive throws in, in tight spots. And, you know, how, did, how just how difficult is that to defend against a quarterback who can make those types of throws? Yeah. Like in, in drops? yeah, anytime you have a, a quarterback like that that's accurate, that's got a strong arm, that's big, and he can stand in the pocket, and, and he can run, very difficult challenge. And uh, he played a great game tonight, and all the credit to him. I, I think he's a heck of a player. I didn't get a chance to meet him or say hello to him. and uh, but. You know, I just, uh, I think he's a heck of a player. He had a great game. You get a chance to talk with O'Leary after the game. Did he say anything, advice at all? No, no, it was quick. quick. No, no, he, he did a great job tonight. All the credit to them. And I uh, just shook his hand and I told him he's got a hell of a team and did a good job tonight.